I'm Richard Tate, the director of the Centre of Journalism at Cardiff University, and we've just had a reporters and reported lecture from my friend Richard Eyre, uh, a distinguished broadcaster, former deputy chief executive of BBC News, and now the content board member for England for Ofcom. Uh, Richard, you've had a great career in broadcasting. What advice do you have for someone who wants to be a journalist today? I suppose the first thing I'd say is that if you want to be a journalist because you think it's going to be uh, glamorous, you should go look somewhere else. Uh, if, you, uh, if you want to be a star, you should go look somewhere else. Um, uh, journalism, for the most part, is intensely tedious, uh, intensely labor-intensive, takes a lot of work, a lot of thought. It's hard work. You get very little credit when you do it right and you get a lot of odium when you do it wrong uh, whether you're working as a freelance in which case your uh, your future prospects of uh, employment suddenly plummet or if you're working for a big organization in which case the uh, the uh, uh, the blame will be landed from the top right to the bottom but you should do it if you're inquisitive if you want to know more about the world if you want to help other people know more about the world, and particularly if you uh, feel passionate about trying to help other people understand. Understand what's happening around them, understand why governments do what they do, understand why local councils do what they do, understand what makes the world tick and what makes democracy work when it does work and not work when it doesn't. If you have a passion for helping people find out more to better inform them and enable them better to take decisions, then Go for it, but don't expect it to be easy. Now, the Centre for Journalism here in Cardiff is celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. Um, do you think journalism has finally established itself as a serious university subject? Well, it's amazing because I, um, uh, when I went to university in 1968, um, uh, the idea of media studies was just catching mm. on, and through the late 60s and through the 70s and 80s, and even to some extent today, media studies has a pretty um, bad reputation, except with people who do media studies, um, but uh, uh, for the chattering classes it looks like a soft option, it looks like something which is not very uh, academic and it's a bit, uh, it's a bit too touchy-feely. But there's a, first of all, there are good media studies courses and bad media studies course, courses, but this is a school of journalism, it isn't a general media studies um, uh, uh, proposition. Uh, uh, over a number of years now, Cardiff has um, not only produced but attracted some very, very bright journalists indeed. It seems to me that uh, it is preeminent now in the kingdom among schools of journalism, and there are a relatively small number uh, of colleges that you would really say were um, uh, setting the highest standards of journalism. There are some, and Cardiff is absolutely, absolutely at the top of them. So uh, you know, may, uh, may, we, uh, may I come back in another 10 years and celebrate your 50th? Of course, you're very welcome. And, and finally, when you look back on your career, anything you'd have changed, anything you'd like to have done differently? <sighs> Almost everything, really. I, I, um, I, I started on the same day and in the same room as my colleague Jeremy Paxman. And um, uh, together we uh, learned um, the basic arts of broadcasting, including interviewing. He's a bit slow to catch on on that. But uh, we went to Northern Ireland together, became reporters uh, together. And uh, I, uh, after three years, I decided to take the Queen's shilling and get into uh, a desk job. And I sort of think, hmm, I wonder, I just wonder. But I know in my heart of heart I wouldn't be where he is today. Uh, what would I have done differently in my 30 years at the BBC? I think the truth is I'd have left it a bit sooner than I did because I had a fantastic time at the BBC, but I uh, slightly regret that by the time I left I was starting to get too old to start an entirely new um, uh, career. But uh, uh, I loved every minute of it and it is a great place to work and journalism is a great job. Thank you very much, Richard.